I'm going to start putting the straps on and then we'll see where we go from there. Ladies and gentlemen, I need new clothes. Um, oh bollocks! I've been wearing this. It looks like it's on bloody life support, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I've wired this up. Um, now, just a word of caution. This is a series link which goes from uh, the negative of this one to the positive on this one. Now when you do that, when you actually fire the BMS up and you start balancing, balancing, you'll see a false reading on this. The voltage on this one, when I charged it, only by one amp, um, the voltage on this one actually rose uh, nearly half a volt, I think it was. So it's just a word of warning that, that, that this might happen uh, when you've got a locker, just a, a temporary series link just to you know get the full voltage and check the BMS make sure it's working now it has actually highlighted that cell number 10 which is that one has got a bit of a problem so I've got to take number 10 out um, and check it independently I have actually wired a, a temporary charge sort of port on this just to see if I can uh, bring it back to life but it's losing power it's not losing a lot but it's going to affect the rest of the pack so they've got to come out after a full day um, I think <laughs> I think I've figured it out I mean work that out if you can that's a 20 no hang on that's a 13s 2p pack this one and this one are the parallel ones so you've got your negative here which is linked to that one um, and then you've got your positive here which is linked to that one and, and it doesn't matter where you take your spur off or anything actually I could put that on there because it make more sense but yes it, it did take quite a while um, to figure that out <laughs> it wasn't easy at all and and I think I will re-change the design I could put that to there but these are the bus bars that the length that I had they, they were the ones that fitted where they are so I've got no bus bars left now um, I'm waiting for some more to come in they're not very expensive at all I think they're only about 15 baht each uh, that's for the longer ones so that's one pack and the other pack is this one here that, those three banks of cells and they're the ones that are going under the seat these are these are very very easy so you've got your uh, what's that the negative negative goes along 
and then those two are going to be linked as I said I'm waiting for the bus bars to come in uh, blah 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 and then that one goes to that one and then your output or your positive is that one so the negative is there, positive is there and they're going to be linked onto that bit there so I've still got to use the seat um, there's no other way around it and the BMS is the one that's going to be a bit of a nightmare I have tested it all, I've plugged it all in uh, wired it all up and it works fine I'm going to have to wire the BMS to that and have the wire come up the back here so as I can put it through the seat through the hole there and then the BMS is going to have to go here so it'll be alright for sticking on there it'll, it just about fits believe it or not it's literally you couldn't get a Mars bar in there afterwards so there's going to be no rattling I've got to wire the BMS up now or I've got to get the wires in place so when the seat goes on the top there um, you've got the, the, the one, one battery on the bottom and you've got one battery on the top and the wires are going to come through here so I'll have to make them a bit bigger so you can get them through and also the power wires have got to go through there which isn't ideal being in close proximity I think the missus thought it was going to be done in a, in a weekend or, or a couple of days you know in the week but it's been off the road now for nearly a week I'll stick stick the, the, the BMS connector up here and then I'll wire it all nice and neat so this is the, the 13S connector which has got to go to here obviously and this is going to go like that like that it's the, the worst case scenario it's going to come down to here inside the, the top uh, the battery box uh, the top battery box which is actually the seat and then I give them a bit of gaffer tape I'm still going to be metering these wires out just to make damn sure it's the right one for the right place so I'll just put a um, on my meter I'll beat these out just to make sure I'm using the right wires don't worry about that we're now in position so the negative I know I don't, I don't need to meter that one out negative is this is just so as I can wire the thing it's just to keep the thing everything in order and, and in its right place that it's going to go so I can get these BMS wires absolutely bloody perfect because anybody knows that I am a perfectionist otherwise I'll rip it out and start again who do I get my perfectionist bit from is it my dad because actually the things that my dad used to do they're all bloody perfect so the first wire which is the negative that is going to run that's going to run up there I think I might have it going underneath the bus bar rather than over the top that'll make it better oh, for all the people who are worried about what happened last time and I, I know I keep showing the same bloody clip <sighs> all my tools are insulated <laughs> Ah, finally, this is a, or it was, a mounting point, uh, it was just literally a thing with a bloody screw hole in it, and, and it's always, always been a bone of contention, I've always wanted to get rid of it, now it's gone. I've got this heat shrink here to protect it against the bus bar, so they can now go down there, so I can, I can heat shrink that onto there now. And I'll go through now and I'll check these to make sure that they go through in increasing voltage. So I'll keep that one on the negative. So we've got 3.2, 6.6, 9.9, 13.2, 16.5, 43. 
So it looks like I've got it right. I burnt my finger. Another bit of an accident. Should you really be eating while you're doing that? Yeah. 